Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, the Rafa line. Yeah, the Rafa line from Babylon. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so coffee sponsor of today is, oh, Diana came up again. So Diana is one of my coffee club sponsors in which she gets me one coffee per month. Thank you, Diana. I appreciate you. And I appreciate your continued support. If you want to be part of my coffee club or just want to buy me a coffee, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to hook up the channel? Super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys for the ones that are in my coffee club. And thank you guys for continuing to support my coffee habit. Dark roast mocha java today. All right. So I wanted to show you what's part of this new Rafa line from Babylon that recently came out. Yeah, the small racket, guys. A lot of people ask me, what is that used for? Ping pong. Or paperweight. I feel like, you know, if you're sitting at your desk, um, maybe have work to do, fantasizing about tennis, and you see this thing sitting on your desk, you're like, hmm. Practice some forehands and backhands with the little thing. Uh, but ain't it cute? Looks just like Rafa's racket now. So that's part of the line, guys. Um, let's start with the junior. We got a junior 26 here. Full graphite racket, 26 inches long. Comes in that zero grip size. So zero again, four inches all around, okay? So cotton candy is what I call this. And then we have the regular Rafa. So this is the 10.2 ounce version of the racket. Now let's look at the detail on this. So Rafa loves this kind of a pinkish magenta. We add a little blue in here yellow signature um, Rafa yelling screaming whatever you want to call it um, what do you guys think of this I mean at least we have the yellow we have the black and and I was a little shocked when I saw this but apparently Rafa's um, footprint is all over this like he you know wanted it this way he wanted it to look this way so the arrow, the pure, and the Rafa right there. So this 10.2 ounce version. So there is no light, there is no team, there is no regular. There is only a 10.2. But we have his signature origin. So this is supposedly his weight, his balance. Okay, 11.2 before strings and pretty head heavy from when we tried it. All right. Now, there's a six pack and a 12 pack in these bags. If you've looked online at these bag prices, they are on the higher side, but let's see what it's all about. Well, wow, look at the inside of that one. Okay, so that is a foil. First pocket we get to. Oh, look at that. The signature bottle opener. For your beer. Pockets here for wallets, pens, keys. Got a little 
clip here for a carabiner. This is actually a thick bag. There's some quality going on in here. And the zippers are very smooth. Like very smooth. Wet compartment for your shoes. And the vent hole here. Wow, even the vent hole is purple. Okay. And it is firmer. So this whole structure. Go to the other side. Okay. So more, another compartment for your accessories. Dampener grip, whatever you'd like. Second major compartment. So this is where your shoes would come in through the other side. And, whoa, look at that. It just opened up. You can put all your rackets in there. And this is a foiled compartment, too. That's actually pretty big. Probably get, like, five to six, maybe even seven rackets in here. Any compartments inside? There are not. But that's thick. That is thick, guys. Wow. Handle for when you put it in the trunk or need to grab it. Handle for when you want to grab it on top. And then the straps. Okay. So I do understand this is a quality bag. Am I supposed to put it on? Let's see. Like this? Because this is the padded part. Yep. Walking around. Okay. Yeah. That's a quality bag. Hmm. All right. So that was the six pack. They got a 12 pack too. So extra compartment it looks like in here. Ooh, Babylon word here. Center compartment. As you can see, the shoes go down there. Rafa compartment on the side. Another compartment here. All foiled. They are all foiled. Oh, look. We got feet. So this must stand. And it does. Ah, stand bag. Finally. That's awesome. Okay. Compartment here, like the other one. Compartment on the other side. Beer opener there. Shoe compartment back here with the holes. Ooh. I'm all over this one. Yeah. Ooh. I need to fill this up to make it a little better. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. I like it. 12-pack stand bag. So this is the Rafa line that I carry. There is another bag that I don't have yet. It is a backpack. That's the three-pack that goes up or folds down. Um, and that's available, too. All right, so that is the Rafa line that I just got. All right, enjoy it. If you love it, buy it, because it may not last. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Do you go on the court and play mindlessly, not knowing what you're doing, not knowing how you're going to win? Do you just counterpunch whatever's coming at you? Are you the counter puncher or are you the aggressor? Do you know when to run a play? The singles playbook and the doubles playbook will tell you exactly how to do that. My man Will at Fuzzy Yellow Balls wrote these books with his many years of experience of teaching and collaborating with pros to easily teach you how to run 
a tennis play. It's as easy as that. Check out the plays on these books. There's a QR code you can scan and it'll show you in a video how to do it. Then you can practice it, run your play, and win your point. Check it out at Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Link is below.